Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Kristen, and I am so glad that you are joining us this week for our children's Bible story time. Today, we are going to look in our Spark Bibles at the Transfiguration story. And transfiguration seems like a pretty big word. I wonder, what do all of you think transfiguration means? Any ideas? So transfiguration means when something or someone has a big change in what they look like. So when, when something changes how it looks or someone changes how they look. And so we're going to look at this story. And if you have your Spark Bibles, you can join me on page 358. We're going to go ahead and read the story. And while we are reading, I want you to pay attention to who or what in this story is transfigured. So who or what is being changed? So let's go ahead and read together. The Transfiguration. Peter, James, and John were very excited. They were climbing a mountain with Jesus. Higher and higher they climbed, right to the top. Then they noticed something different about Jesus. Jesus' face and clothes were bright and shiny like the sun. Moses and the prophet Elijah were standing with Jesus talking about God's promise to save the world. Peter couldn't believe his eyes. Suddenly, a cloud covered the mountain. A voice said, This is my son. Listen to him. The voice was God. Peter, James, and John covered their faces. Then Jesus touched them. They peeked up. Everything was the same as it was before even Jesus. On the way back down the mountain, Jesus, Peter, James, and John talked about God's promise, but they didn't tell anyone else what happened on the mountain for a long time. So what do you think? Who or what was transfigured in this story? I read about a couple of things. One was that suddenly a cloud appeared over the mountain, right? So that was transfigured, that changed, and it became cloudy when God was talking to all of them. But I think the biggest transfiguration that happened was Jesus, because he became all bright and shiny, like, like the sun, it says. His clothes turned bright, his face and body, everything turned bright like the sun, so it's really cool because in this story, God is speaking to them through the clouds. And so have you ever had a time when God has spoken to you? I especially think of the song, This Little Light of Mine, because I think God sends people into our lives to be the light of Christ and to show us the love of Christ. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you, if you don't already know it, the song, This Little Light of Mine, so that we can all remember to share God's love and light with everyone. So go ahead and repeat after me for this portion, and then we're going to put it all together. So repeat after me. This little light of mine, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine, this little light of mine, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, I'm going to let it shine, this little light of mine, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, great job. If you're still getting the hang of it, no worries, but we're going to go ahead and put it all together and sing it together as a group. So let's go ahead and sing. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, 
I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Beautiful. So remember that Jesus was transfigured and that Jesus can transfigure and change our lives too. And when you spread that light, this little light of mine, when you spread that to the rest of the world, other people's lives can also change because of the great love of Jesus. I hope that each of you have an amazing week and that you can all feel the love and the light of God. See you next week, everyone.